In this lesson, we summarize the method of maximum likelihood estimation for multiple unknown parameters, and we demonstrate the method by deriving the estimator for a couple examples. Well, for many estimation applications, we're concerned with the estimation of more than one parameter. As an example, suppose that the data are independent, identically distributed samples of a Gaussian random variable with an unknown mean mu and an unknown standard deviation sigma. The parameter vector then has two elements, mu and sigma, and the likelihood is specified by the probability density for the data, which, because the data are independent, is the product of the Gaussian densities. The log likelihood then contains the sum of two terms, one that contains the standard deviation and one that contains both the mean and the standard deviation. To find the parameters that maximize this log likelihood then, we might start by evaluating the gradient of the log likelihood with respect to the parameters. Then, if we set this gradient equal to zero, the estimator for mu would be the sample mean for the data, and the estimator for sigma would be the square root of the sample variance for the data, where the parameter mu, or the mean for the data, is replaced by its maximum likelihood estimate. As another example, suppose that the vector x contains two independent elements, x1 and x2, where x1 is a Gaussian random variable with a mean equal to a and standard deviation sigma1, and x2 is a Gaussian random variable with a mean equal to a plus b and a standard deviation of sigma2. Furthermore, let's suppose that we get n independent realizations of the vector. The unknown parameters are a and b, and we'll assume that the two standard deviations, sigma1 and sigma2, are known. The joint density for these data, then, is the product of the corresponding Gaussian densities, so that the log likelihood for the data is the sum of three terms. The first is determined by the exponent for the density for x1 and contains the parameter a. The second is determined by the exponent for the density for x2 and contains both the parameters a and b. And the third represents the other terms that don't depend on either of the parameters a or b. Now if we evaluate the derivatives of the log likelihood with respect to these two parameters, and then set those derivatives to zero, we'll get a system of two equations with two unknowns that we can solve for the maximum likelihood estimators for the two parameters. And here the angle bracket notation represents the sample mean for the data. Sample mean for x1 and the sample mean for x2. Now here for example is a false color plot of the log likelihood for a situation when sigma 1 is equal to 2, sigma 2 is equal to 3, and we have 100 independent measurements of the vector x, and the true parameters are a equal 1 and b equal 2. Now the maximum of the log likelihood computed by solving the system of equations is shown by the blue dot, and it corresponds to a hat equal to 1.05 and b hat equal to 1.87. So unsurprisingly, the estimates are not exactly the true values of the parameter because we only had 100 realizations, but we can see that we come close. Now in summary, the application of the method of maximum likelihood for multiple parameters is a straightforward extension of the method for a single parameter, and a typical procedure is to solve for the parameters that set the gradient to zero. However, as we did with a single parameter, to be safe, it's important to check the second derivative conditions to make sure that the solution corresponds to a maximum, not a minimum, or a point of inflection.